Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Football Manager 2019 with Zebu Nation. We are back once again with FC Cincinnati in the 2021 MLS regular season and today we got a heck of a matchup for you. Take a look at the schedule going up against Seattle. If you look at the competitions here, Seattle is second in the Supporters Shield, first in the Western Conference. So this is a big game. It's a chance for us to knock off one of the top two teams in the league, two teams that are tied at 33 points. You know, we're never going to catch up to these teams if somebody doesn't beat them. So it might as well be us starting today. Uh, we can take a look at Seattle. But I guess first before we get to that, we should mention the U.S. Cup. We did make it to the fifth round. Got Penn FC coming up next. But we did win LA Galaxy. We beat them 3-1. We had a you know fully, not fully rotated side, but a mostly rotated side. All of our American players were in there. I don't think we had any of our international, or if if not, we had very few international players even on the roster for this. So, you know, we do have a pretty strong American side. We won 3-1 with Luciano Acosta getting a hat trick. I mean, that's pretty amazing. We can take a look at his goals. You can pretty much guess how he scored. It's pretty much how he scores all of his goals with long shots from the semicircle. But, you know, it's always fun to see those goals go in. So here's the first goal. It's just after a free kick. Glad's a little out of position. Shelton centers and Acosta just blasts it into the net for the first goal. 42 minutes down, so just at the end of the half. And here's 65 minutes down. We've managed to hold on to the 1-0 lead. DeVries centers to Acosta, and he, he gets nearly to the magic spot, a little outside the magic spot. And he still scores. And then 71 minutes, so just a couple minutes later, a few minutes later, Acosta, Acosta, around this time with the left foot. And he crosses up the keeper, sends it to the same corner, but with his left foot. And then here's L.A. getting sort of a consolation goal in the 79th minute. Skelvik just slices through the defense. Scores past Hudson, who was in goal. And uh, there we go. A nice 3-1 victory to advance in the cup. Acosta back in the lineup. You know, making big plays. Obviously a hat trick, but getting match fit is definitely important. DeVries back in the lineup, also getting match fit. So, you know, we're getting some of our top players back, and that's very good. So let's uh, see what we have on offer today. Now, we've got even more issues with international duty coming up but right now we still just have four players but we're going to have a total of seven coming up pretty soon let's see if we can look at the calendar no it doesn't yeah here it is seven players on international duty it's not going to show us who they are or will it if we there we go new who stefan glad richie salvador richards presbilco and saint duke so that is a lot of players who are going to be out starting tomorrow. But today we have Seattle and we can play pretty much a full starting lineup. It's uh, even are the odds for the game. Seattle's in first place. As we mentioned, looks like they're going to be in their whites with the powder blue collar. I don't know that I've seen that before from seattle but uh, you know whatever floats your boat uh svensson is going to be ineligible roll don is out willian will i Ann is out ladero possibly out so it's a lot of guys they're missing from seattle let's see uh, what their registration looks like 25 players 200,000 under the cap so they can bring in some players ladero there he is on the injured list designated player Rudiaz is still going to be there. There's Will I N out. There's Roldan out. Svensson out. So they've got some issues in the midfield, it looks like. Depending on whether they've been playing Roldan at right back or not, which they probably have. Will I N is out. Yeah, so they could have some issues in the midfield, but we'll see. 
Let's get back to the pregame here. 91 degrees and breezy at FC Cincinnati Stadium. So it's a hot, hot June day, June 5th. 18,000 tickets sold out of 25,000. So it must be like a midday or midweek game, something like that. No, it's a Saturday, so I don't know what the deal is. Maybe they just don't like uh, Seattle. I don't know why Seattle wouldn't bring in the crowds, but 18,000 is not terrible. It's just, uh, you know, our top seems to be around 22, unless it's for, you know, some sort of big game like a cup final or something like that. But anyway, should be a good game. It's going to be hot, so we might need to do some liberal substitutions. We shall see. Let's get to our team selection. Um, we've got Hembut, DeVries, Shelton, Arse Jr., Glad, Clute, and Hudson on the bench. So that's a pretty decent bench. A couple of injury issues, a couple guys out on international, but it's not too bad. So here we go. Stefan in goal. Stevenson at left back, getting his first play in a long time. He has not played, I can't remember the last time Jared Stevenson has played. 20-year-old homegrown player, physically outstanding, mentally pretty good, technically a little behind the curves, but he has improved recently. Up to 10 tackling and 10 marking, only 6 heading, which isn't great, especially for a guy who's six foot two with 15 jumping reach. You'd think his heading would be better, but uh, you know he's more of a wingback type of dude. But anyway, he's going to get a start today because New Who is out. On international and you know we just played the US Cup a couple days ago so Clute is tired we don't want to injure him or anything like that look at his career stats here so we picked him up from FC Cincinnati Academy in 2019 sent him out on loan to Ottawa and since then he's just been sitting on the bench made seven appearances last year and none so far this year so Jared Stevenson welcome uh, he's peered up next to Wilson, Richards, Aguirre on defense, Philippe back at defensive midfielder after his suspension, Akechi, St. Duke on the left-hand side because, again, we're trying to keep DeVries healthy, so we're not going to wear him out. Crispum in the attacking center mid, taking over for Acosta. Uh, Sonora on the right, Adi up top. So, oops, we forgot to look at their team. Anyway... We can look at it here, I suppose. They've got Horvath, Alex Horvath in goal. That's interesting. Garza, Antonievich, Marlon, Sweat at fullback. Then, yeah, Kay and Bratton in the midfield. Not real familiar. Oh, Mark Anthony Kay, familiar with him. 26-year-old. Canadian, 31 caps for the Canadian national team, valued at $4.2 million. Yeah, he was one of their big signings over uh, in the offseason. So he's definitely uh, definitely going to do some business for them in the midfield. So as long as they got him, I guess their midfield isn't going to be too bad. Uh, Arroyo, Ladero, Victor Rodriguez, Rudiez. So they've still got a pretty formidable team. Let's just uh, close down on Ladero here. No, not... Never. Always. That's what we do. Fullback's fine. Attacking midfield, fine. All right, kickoff. Let's go. So here we are. Home stadium, not quite a sellout. Not a great amount of traveling fans. I mean, a, still a pretty good amount of, of away fans, but could be better. That's probably where the drop-off is. Like, uh, Not all those Seattle fans have made the trip to the great Midwest. Their team looks a little tired. They must have played a game recently as well, and they're not as uh, as eager to rotate as as I am. You know, um, took a chance against LAFC rotating so many guys, but we still had some pretty good players in there. As you mentioned, Acosta was in there. So anytime you have him out there, it's going to be fine. Richards heads it away from Stefan Rudiez. His shot is deflected out to Ladero, who sends the cross back in. And this time, Stefan's able to rise up and snatch it. That's fine. Is the highlight going to continue? 
Yeah, he boots it downfield to Adi, who heads it back to Philippe. Wins the ball at midfield. Ketchy drops it back to Wilson to sort of take our time. Ketchy out wide to Sonora. He's going to try to put a move on the right back. Just sends it in. St. Duke on the back post. Goal. Again, no flag. That was just a quick bang, bang play. Sonora once again proving to be the playmaker. <clears throat> Here we go. Ketchy, nice pass out wide. Sonora early cross. There it is. St. Duke beats his man with that acceleration. Puts it in. I think that's his first goal of the season. I didn't quite look at the highlights, but he hasn't had many goals this year. Take a look at St. Duke. It's history. Yep, one goal, seven appearances. So there we go. Good man. You know, he's... Uh, He's playing because he's got that versatility. He can play left, right, or center. He can play striker, play all over the field. And, uh, you know, there was some talks that maybe he should be dropped by the Haitian national team. But I can't imagine they have many players better than St. Duke. Here's a catchy. Sends one back post to Richards. His header goes wide. I guess I haven't looked at the Haitian national team, but I, it's probably not a nation that's loaded. You know what I mean? Either, either metaphorically or like for reals. Let's see. Uh, where's his information? Haiti. Can we look at the Haitian national team senior squad? I mean, they've got a mostly a full squad, so that's good. They've got real players all over the place. Um, I mean, their values are not that high. 750000 St. Duke valued at 300000 So he's the second most valued player on the squad. So it would be hard for them to drop him, I think. Uh, you know. He might not be getting the most playing time, but he is getting some. And, uh, you know, he got a goal. So there we go. Akechi off the crossbar. Wilson on the doorstep puts it in. Appears to be onside. That's one you don't see very often. Deflection off the crossbar straight down to an awaiting player. Wilson, I guess it touched the keeper. So that nullifies offside, perhaps? I don't know. They didn't check it. No VAR to check it. So I guess they just assumed it was good. Looks like they're trying to send in low crosses. That's fine. Here's a catchy. Another free kick. Sends one in. Crispum offside this time. There's the flag man with his flag raised. Again, no replay, apparently. No, here we go. Here's the replay. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. Disallowed. Boy, that was close. He looked onside to me, but it's kind of a bad angle. Another free kick. 42 minutes in. Sends one wide. Headed wide. Wilson's going to bring it in. We don't really want Wilson out there with the ball. Drops it back to Crispin. Centers to Philippe. He's wide open. Takes the shot and scores. Keeper just fell over. Didn't even see it. Philippe's second goal of the season. So we got a lot of our uh, a lot of our inexperienced players in there scoring goals. It's always good. Look at how wide open Philippe is. Just takes a touch. The keeper falls over. No chance. As long as his accuracy was good, he was going to score that one. And that's exactly what happened. 3-0 first half over Seattle. I think, you know... This road trip, looking at how tired they are, is just a total trap game for Seattle. You know, just they were set up for failure. So let's go to our tactics here. Let's let's do the whole uh, let's do the whole thing. The whole drop back, slow it down, waste some time, and let's just get out of here with a win. Whether it's three nil or three one, whatever, it's fine. Dressing room, uh, no need to say anything controversial. 
Very happy. Keep it going. Let's go. All right, so we've hit our rhythm, I think. You know, it's going to see once once we get past this international break. I mean, it's not really a break. We do have a game in about eight days, which we'll be missing a few guys, but hopefully we're not going to be missing all seven of our guys in eight days. We'll see. You know, it depends. I guess it depends on if they're in a tournament, you know, if they win their first game or whatever and they move on. We could be missing some guys for our next game, but... Uh, you know, I think we've we've shown that the team we've got is pretty strong. Strong enough to compete in MLS, even if there are some subs in there. Ladero, his shot's blocked, but Gilbert pounces on it and scores. That's a bit of an early goal, 60 minutes in. They get one back. Nico Ladero, good block by Stefan, but then lazy on the rebound. Who's this? A catchy doesn't clear the rebound. That allows them to score. I think Stefan would be angry at that one. Here's 63 minutes. Another possible highlight for Seattle. Could our fallback tactic be uh, coming back to bite us here? We'll see. Anton Yevich has to send one back to Marlon. Still putting some pressure on these guys, but they're going to bomb it forward. Rudy is behind the defense. Stefan is there for the save. There's a nice highlight video on the MLS YouTube site about all of Stefan's saves this season. It makes him look pretty good. You know, he's stopped a few penalty shots this year, and, you know, he's made some big saves. So Stefan is, is playing pretty well. Let's see, who on our team is not playing well? Adi. Let's make some subs. We'll bring in Hembut. Make him the pressing forward. Mm, Stevenson on the left. I think now's the time to bring in Clute. Stevenson has, you know, done his job. He's composed. His 6.7 rating's not terrible. But I might as well bring in the veteran while we've got time. You know, we just wanted Stevenson to buy time for Clute so that we didn't, you know, it's not like he's injured or anything. He's just, you know, a little old. 31 years old now. Still a good player. Still experienced. Marking, tackling, still good heading. Not much better than Stevenson, but, you know. A catchy. Oof. You know, again, we are thin in the midfield. Our only option is Ars Jr. Guess that's what we'll do. Boof. How's Philippe in the midfield? Philippe's much better. We'll make him the ball-winning midfielder. There we go. So, I, you know, I would like to take Philippe out with that yellow card, but uh, that's our third sub, so not much we can do about that. And he's got an 8.3 rating and a goal, so he's playing pretty well. It's tough to take him out. Three minutes of stoppage time coming up. So 3-1, like I said, either 3-0 or 3-1 is fine. If they get a second one here, not going to be real happy, but at this point in the game, there's, there's no coming back. There's Hembutt. Speaking of coming back, he comes back to get the ball. He's bracketed by two defenders. Gets it stolen, but there's the whistle. All right, so they predicted a draw. I guess they didn't realize the power of our home field advantage. Dressing room. Who got player of the match? Philippe, player of the match. 8.3 and the goal. That's fine. Dressing room. You know, everybody played well. No real problems here. So, very happy with the result and the way you played. Good game. Let's go. So, there we are. Quality of possession proves provides victory. Sure, why not? Outstanding game. Philippe Stellar as Cincinnati scores an easy victory. 
All right, so we take a look at the schedule, and we've got Real Salt Lake coming up. That's going to be our 17th game, which is the midpoint of the season. So we're going to play this game on camera, and then next episode we're going to come back with the mid-season review and play, you know, San Jose and LA. So we're going to be we're going to be looking at a lot of these Western Conference teams and see what they're all about. So I'm going to pause it here, and then we're going to come back for RSL. Okay, we're back to play Real Salt Lake. It's not a team we've played, paid a ton of attention to uh, in FM at all, honestly. It's just one of those teams that's kind of out there, and I don't know. It's, it's just not on the radar a lot. But they do have some pretty good players although it seems like they're currently their best two players are not in the starting lineup probably due to u.s cup situations i don't know but uh, darren randolph their goalkeeper four stars looks pretty good here yeah 17 reflexes 34 year old irishman 42 caps for team ireland so he looks really good as a goalkeeper albert Albert Rusnik, Slovakian. Uh, what is he, an inside forward? Yeah, he looks pretty good. You know, not terrifying or anything like that, but pretty good. Other than that, they're a pretty solid team. A lot of two-and-a-half-star guys. Uh, Kralik, Demir Kralik, an international player, 32-year-old Croatian. Also pretty good. Uh, his pace, not so good, but the rest of him looks pretty good. Valued at $2.7 million. Uh, Severa Severino on international duty for Valenzuela right now. So we probably won't have to see him. And yeah, so they got pretty good squad. Take a look at their registration. Right there at that $4 million mark. So like most of these teams, they're about 200000 under the cap. 27 players on the squad. So they got mostly a full squad. A little bit of room in case of emergencies. No homegrown players so that's not great but you know some teams don't stress that here we go rsl versus cincinnati we are five to four favorites on the road that's interesting we have won two of the last two meetings because we've only apparently played these guys twice so that you can see how 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 little we do play these guys we got three players on international duty. Jake Wadey's out with a twisted ankle. Sonora doubtful with a tight Achilles. That uh, that's new information for me. I didn't realize that. It's 87 and breezy, so we're getting into summertime where it's nice and hot. Uh, Salazar is the referee. Average of 3.8 yellow cards per match. So we really got to watch out for this guy. Their biggest strength is marking. Dribbling is their poorest strength, so we might want to like get into these guys and see if we can see if we can put some pressure on their dribbling. But also, this could be a defensive match, so we shall see. Let's get to our team selection. There's Saint Duke on uh, international duty, so we got to get him out of there. See ya later, buddy. Uh, there's Sonora with his injury, so I guess we got to get him out of there. Too, but that's fine. We're we're decent at winger. We can bring in Kiri Shelton on the right. Easily bring in DeVries on the left. No problem. Uh, I don't know that we need... Well, I mean, Stevenson did play well last game. You know. And he is one of our more improved players over the last couple of months. Look at all those arrows going up. Determination's going down a little bit for some reason, but... Everything else is on the rise. Look at that. His tackling has gone up to 11 after one game. So maybe we should should be playing this guy more. So why not? He you know he played well last game. We'll leave him in there. Uh, let's see. We do need some new reserves on the bench, though. Uh, let's see. We can probably put a Lache in there for Arse. We need some wingers, though. Senora injured. We uh, Acosta probably should start Acosta, huh? And then Patrick Youngs. 
So we're thin on the wings for sure. So I will bring Acosta in for Crispum because Crispum can play out on the wings and he will be our, you know, mostly our reserve winger out there. Sure. Youngs can play a little bit on the right hand side in an in a emergency. So we're looking pretty good. Um, we also have Blackman still on the bench. How's, you know, uh, Christopher Richards is a little banged up. Bring in Glad. Richards has dropped his lack of uh, playing time concern, so that means I guess we can take him out immediately. He probably won't like that, but we're going to do it because he's, you know, a little, a little worn out. 90% to start a game is not great, so there we go. There's our team. Stevenson lacking match sharpness. That's fine. I mean, he had like a 6.7, 6.8 rating in the last game, somewhere around there, with no match sharpness. So now, you know, I mean, he's got a bad haircut, but... You know, nothing you can do about that at the moment. Looks like he's wearing a hat. That's how bad his haircut is. Anyway, you saw our lineup. Stefan in goal. Stevenson, Wilson, Glad, Aguirre, Philippe, Akechi, DeVries on the left, taking the captain's armband. Acosta, Shelton, Adi. Interesting RSL going with the 4-2-4. Going to play a bit of attacking, even though defending seems to be their strength. Randolph in goal. Who's this Acosta? Danilo Acosta on the left-hand side. Silva, Mason, Polster, Kralik, Powers in the middle. Lennon, Rusnak, Togni. Four goals, four assists. Gaston, Togni. Okay, 18 appearances. And then uh, Madranda up top with seven goals. So, looking pretty good. All right. Uh, whoops. Okay, we just ended the pep talk. I shall not give you a pep talk. And then, okay. Okay, we just messed everything up. We just messed everything up. Can we go back? Can we get our tactics back? Oh, no, 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 no. Opposition? No, it didn't come back. So we're going to have to we're gonna have to do it all manually. Oh, boy. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Midfield, yep. You know, like I said, we wanted to close down on the midfield some. Fullbacks look like they're definitely going to come forward. There we go. Okay, fine. It's fine. Let's go. So RSL, not a full house, but, you know, okay, I guess. We are, of course, in the blues. RSL in the black and red. Let's go. It would be nice to keep the winning streak going. You know, we have we, we're on an unbeaten streak right now, and I think three game winning streak, not including uh, U.S. Cup, I think including U.S. Cup, we're on a four game winning streak. So playing well right now in uh, at mid season, that's what you want to see. We're gonna have, you know, the way the way the calendar works out these days is we don't actually get the second transfer window until like three quarters season so as long as we can keep this winning streak going there's no real need to make any moves at mid-season that i can see we've got a little tiny space on the roster right now we could of course make room with all of the the money that we have but i don't know that that's a great investment at this time i've here we go throw in near side aguire Gets to Shelton, to Acosta, Lucho, centers to Adi. Oof, was that deflected or just hidden by the defense? He had two defenders on him, but neither one of them was aggressive and, and took the ball from him. So Adi just turned and scooted it past the keeper. Keep an eye on Adi here. He's well onside. He drops back even, and then just, yep, just a screen. Keeper couldn't see past his own defenders. Adi just turned and fired. There we go. Another early goal. Another early lead. That's how we like to do it. Seems like the best way to play this game is from ahead. I was going to mention that something I've, I've noticed in FM19 is the worst thing you can do is mess up the chemistry of your team. It seems like as long as you don't mess up the team chemistry, you can win games. Doesn't matter what your talent level is, really. Just 
team chemistry stays strong, your team will win. If team chemistry falls off, even if you've got a good team, you'll, you'll lose games that way. So I think making changes in an established team seems to not be the way to go. Here is a corner for RSL. Rusniak gets it to Silva. He's covered, but he drops it back to Rusniak with the bad angle shot, and he scores. I think Stefan's kicking himself over that one. He's not happy with that goal. Togni... Passes it to Rusniak, and then Silva, and then a little, I guess you could call that a give and go, but Stefan was there. He just couldn't get down quick enough. Sort of the, uh, sort of the fault of soccer goalkeepers is that low angle where it's hard to drop that quickly, and they don't, they don't often use their legs quite, you know, definitely not like a hockey goal tender uses their legs to make kick saves and stuff like that i have seen it done but um it, it's it's not really basic technique to sort of you know spread your legs out wide and make a kick save because there's too much ground to cover really to do that effectively but at a weird angle like that you can you can shrink the goal where maybe you could you know, spread your legs wide and make some, some kick saves. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm talking about there, so. Just just speculation. Anyway, here's DeVries with a free kick. Adi sends it over the goal. I thought the goalkeeper might have slapped that, but no. He just, just made sure. Now here's a free kick. For RSL, 1-1, one, one, 55 minutes in. Mason turns it over at midfield, but Krylak gets it back. For RSL sends it for Togni on the run. Stefan with the stop. Defense got beat. But, you know, when you have Stefan back there in goal, it's okay chested down that was a risky play but Aguirre has it and he just clears it throw in for Aguirre now he's all over the field apparently gets it to Acosta playing wide at the moment gets by one man so it does the dipsy do centers it to Akechi Akechi moving moving oh great pass to DeVries not a tremendous shot but he did force a big save from Randolph what's his name is it Randolph or Rudolph it's Randolph. Okay. A catchy corner. Back post. Wilson can't get there. And we're going to get another corner out of it on this side in front of the Cincinnati fans who made the trip out here to Salt Lake City. DeVries. Mm. I guess we're just going to keep going back and forth. Corner to corner. Far side now. Catchy. Sends one in. Oh, there we go. Finally, RSL clears it, but Akechi wins it. Centers to Acosta. Acosta gets to his spot, but that was with his left foot. Not a, not a lot of power on that one, and Randolph makes the save. Um, do we have any analysis we can look at here? Uh, Maderos needs to be closed out. I think I keep calling him Madranda, but it's Maderos. Uh, Rusniak is controlling the game. Glad is booked. Encourage our players to play a short passing play. Okay. So we just made a lot of changes there. Akechi. And he scores. <laughs> We're going to need to see the replay on that one. After all those changes we just made. Akechi. I think that was off of a free kick or maybe a corner. We'll see. Was a you know, it was a throw in, Aguirre to Shelton to Acosta, headed out by Mason straight to Akechi, just lingering and then left footed, bashes it in and Akechi is naturally left footed, so that's that's fine. That's why we do the reverse Z formation, is to keep him on that left side. And there we go. Suddenly we're up. 
Let's make a couple of subs here. You know, Aguirre and Glad have those yellow, so I think we're going to take both of them out. Bring in Clute and Richards. Don't see that very often. Ketchy's a little bit tired, but he's got an 8.3 rating. You know, everybody up top is playing decently well. Kiri Shelton, maybe not, but I don't necessarily want to sub for him. So we'll make the old defensive substitution. Okay. Let's waste some time. 81 minutes. Good good reason to start wasting some time. Ketchy's still tired, but he's, you know, it's just his lot in life is to be tired. What's his fitness? His fitness is 9, which isn't horrible. Stamina, 11. But, uh, you know, playing that midfield position, roaming playmaker, we do ask him to run around a lot. Here we go. Three minutes of stoppage time. Two minutes left. Stefan bombs it downfield to, you know, just a straight turnover. Holster Mason boots it. Looks looks like we're there. Richards, no problem. Gets it to Philippe. Shelton to Acosta. Acosta turns. Got plenty of room. Defense is behind him. Out wide to DeVries. DeVries on the run. Oh. He's just not in sync the way he has been the last couple of seasons. I think the injury's finally catching up to him. 94 minutes, Ketchy sends one back to Shelton, no good. There's the whistle, 2-1, road victory. That is fine, that is all right. Pep talk, let's see, player of the match, Akechi. 8.5 rating and a goal. Outstanding, boys, good win on the road. We'll take it any day of the week. So there we go. We got U.S. Cup versus Penn coming up next. And we got our mid-season review coming up. So that will be our next episodes. As you can see, that moved us up to second place. A little preview of our mid-season review. That's fine. It's us and Atlanta United at the top. We're now just two points back from Atlanta. So they picked up a draw while we picked up a win. Excellent. That's what it's all about. Okay. So we're going to come back for that next time. But for now, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.